Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can schedule multiple pins using Tailwind onto your Pinterest account. So you can basically fill up your kind of schedule with a mixture of your pins and a mixture of beautiful pins that you found and you source and you really love from places like Pinterest or you could also go to a website and do the same thing and you're going to be doing this using the Tailwind Chrome extension. So this is basically my Pinterest account that I have been working on for about a year. And as you can see, if I kind of go to the overview, there's a mixture of different kind of products and pins that I like to kind of display on my Pinterest account. And they basically give a theme and a direction to not only my Pinterest account, but also what somebody can expect when they click on my website and they go and look at the items that I actually have for, for sale or on offer. But also alternatively, if I had a blog or a website, it would kind of give the whole point of Pinterest is to kind of give the impression of what that person's going to find when they click on your website or your blog. And it's just a way really to help to find and discover and filter those people who are genuinely interested in what you have to offer, whether that is products or if that's a service or whatever it is. That's how I like to use Pinterest. It's like a big open tool to help me find people who are genuinely interested in the look and the style and the same things that I'm interested in that I'm offering either in my shop or my blog. And as you can see, there's kind of a mixture of my own designs that I've created. Like I've shown you in a previous video how I create these pins and I do it using a program called Canva. But then there's also additional pins that I have looked around and found on places like Pinterest itself, but also on different websites and they're just beautiful pins that I have pinned to kind of not only help kind of boost my own Pinterest but it's also really cool to share beautiful things that you find from other people not just to swamp your Pinterest account with just your stuff because Pinterest really is a sharing area it's a place for people to discover things and become inspired and unless if you are going to run around creating a million different images of a million different things then don't try and fill your Pinterest account up with just purely your stuff. Like there's so much, so many beautiful images and graphics out there that you can kind of have a look at and, and, and you can pin to your account. So I really like to have a mixture of the two, some of my stuff promoting my stuff, but also stuff to kind of inspire and it might send you off to a different place, but I don't mind that because it's kind of building my Pinterest account as it goes. So I'm going to show you how to really easily do this using the Chrome extension for Tailwind. So first thing we need to do is go to Chrome, match using Safari here. So if I just scroll down, then I basically got my kind of dummy Pinterest account, which I've kind of used in a few of the other videos. Just so we can kind of start from scratch together and I can show you kind of what you need to do rather than just flinging it all on an established looking Pinterest account. So from the previous video, if you haven't watched that yet, definitely go back and watch that. I've kind of done a couple of things. I have added some more boards. Like I said, it's probably good to start out with about 15 to 20 or so boards. And I kind of told you in the last video how I go about kind of finding the names of the boards that I want to use. And again, it's themed around, I've kind of just gone with the generic My Girly Shop. But of course, it's kind of inspired with the beginning of I know I'm perfect when I started her out, but this is just kind of a dummy one. And we're gonna start filling these boards up. Now, if I was gonna do this, which I did try and do this when I started out, just completely kind of organically and manually and me sitting there sourcing and finding pins and pinning every day and kind of trying to fit that into a schedule that it just got so out of hand. This is why I love Tailwind because I can fill this entire account up in well in advance and completely scheduled so that I don't have to spend every day for the next 30 days or so pinning everything myself which is kind of a huge waste of time because not only is it really draining on my energy and the things that I need to do obviously if you have a small business yourself you know how much energy everything takes up but on top of that because I'm not able to sit down and strategize exactly how I want my Pinterest account to look how I want it to grow how often I want it to pin it's just kind of when 
when I can fit it in and what I can find at the time. And I don't wanna do that. I wanna block out like an hour or something like that, that I can actually sit down, schedule everything that I want and I'm ready to go. So first thing that we want to do is make sure that we have our Tailwind account that we're logged in, we've got it open and ready to go. And as I kind of showed you in a previous video, you wanna make sure that you've got a decent schedule. I would probably say a minimum of around 10 pins per day. When you actually kind of let Tailwind automatically schedule for you, it might give some days where it's not quite 10, other days where you're over 10, but you kind of want to have a good number of slots to fill in on your Tailwind account. So once you've got this ready to go and you're in Chrome and you'll see that you have the Tailwind extension. If you didn't download it at the beginning, it's quite simple. Just Google it, just download the Tailwind extension because if you're serious about building your Pinterest account, you're going to want it if you have Chrome. It's definitely a tool you want to have in your arsenal when you're trying to automate your Pinterest as much as possible. So we're gonna go back over to Pinterest now and I'm gonna start filling out my my kind of boards with things that I find really beautiful, but also some of the pins I had myself. So I showed you in a previous video, if you haven't watched that one yet, then definitely go and have a look how you can create your own pin designs on Canva and you can set them up in Tailwind and kind of start funneling them out. And that's what I like to do. I like to create about 10 pins or 20 pins a month and just intermingle them in. And I'll show you in a minute how you can kind of just really easy once, you, once they're up and live on your Pinterest account, you don't have to go for the rigmarole of obviously creating them again and putting them back up you can literally just use the towel and extension to just repin some of those pins as well but I'm going to show you now how we can just kind of gather some really beautiful pins to kind of build and bulk our Pinterest account so I'm basically going to plug into search a, t a keyword that is kind of related to the stuff that I want to talk about. So obviously, if I'm kind of mimicking my I know I'm perfect shop, then it's about home decor. It's about girly home decor. And that's kind of what's inspiring me with this new Pinterest account. So I'm looking at just simply plugging in bedroom decor. And as you can see, and there's a whole host of beautiful pins that are just absolutely stunning. And we're gonna start to pin some of these, find the ones that I love and pin some of these to my new Pinterest account. So the first thing I wanna do is just, I kind of like to just scroll down a little bit, it just make sure that the Tailwind extension kind of gets all the new pins are. I don't scroll down too much, but just enough to kind of give me a variety of pins. And then I click on the Tailwind extension. And what you'll see this does is it brings up all of these different pins and it brings up their um, description as well. So I can kind of go ahead and find some beautiful pins that I want to pin and add to my Pinterest account. So I'm just gonna look and just kind of pick out some ones that kind of go with the pink and girly aesthetic that I really like. So I might just pick a couple of these. I love basically just looking around, I can find some really beautiful pins. And once I'm ready, once I've found some pins that I really like, I can click on go schedule. And I'll have this pop-up that will jump up from Tailwind. And it will ask me what boards I want to add these to. So when I signed into my Tailwind account, I did this after I created my girly Pinterest and I'd added all of these boards. And it usually asks you to refresh the boards that you had. So I kind of just wanna make sure that you see kind of the whole shebang when it comes to this video. So when you would click on this board, if there were new boards that it had picked up from Pinterest, it will ask you, new board added recently question mark and then refresh boards list and if you just refresh that boards list then any new boards that you've created it will add them here so super simple and then when I go back to my uh, little pop-up that it's got here with the pins that I found that I want to add then I can click on type of board if I want to I mean I can actually save it for later it will go into the drafts in my tailwind and I can just go find a whole bunch of pins get them all onto the draft and then do this a bit later but all I really want to do is just add these to my new boards so I might pick that I want them to go these boards are all centered around kind of bedroom ideas so decor style um girly bedroom uh pink glamour, like anything that I think that these will really work with, I can just kind of 
add them those boards and then what I do tend to do as well is if there are any kind of boards that I'm not massive on how they've kind of been written out I might want to kind of change up the description so there's a new description there but I don't always add a new description obviously it could take forever to do that so if they've got decent descriptions enough and I know that they'll do fine they've got some keywords in them then I don't kind of spend all day changing them up because that would be never ending and obviously I need to have my central focus on my own pins these are kind of just beautiful board inspiration that if someone came onto my Pinterest account amongst my pins they'd also find this beautiful inspiration so it would just help kind of build the look of my Pinterest account but once I'm happy with all of the pins that I've got then I can just click schedule all and once I have scheduled it then I can head over to scheduled pins and you'll see that they have been scheduled. So that's how I can really easily use the Tailwind extension just to grab different pins off Pinterest. I can do the exact same thing if I want to go to a website, for example. So if I wanted to go to, I'm just gonna use my own website, but you'll see that when you use Chrome, there is actually the extension button there and I can click and I can schedule that pin just as easily. I'll just pick a couple of boards that I want to add that to. I can schedule that one as well. And then when someone clicks on that pin, for example, this will just take them to the actual platform here. But then if I actually click on the listing itself in Etsy and I click the schedule and I do the same thing, I add that to some of the boards that I really like it to go with, then the new pin that I've scheduled will actually take you straight to the landing page for the listing so you just can have a play around see where different pins take you but like I said I can add my own stuff from my actual website or someone else's website I can add things straight off of Pinterest and I've kind of got an endless supply really of pins to play with when I use the Tailwind extension then on top of that I could also want to add my own pins so like I showed you in a previous video like I said if you haven't seen that one yet definitely go back I could directly upload my pins from my desktop if I want to do it that way or alternatively once I've uploaded a bunch of different pins from my Etsy shop or my blog or whatever it is that I've uploaded and they've been scheduled out onto Pinterest through Tailwind or if I've just wanted to upload them straight onto Pinterest itself I can really easily source them out whether that's to go to my uh, my account or whether I just type in the keyword and, and find them and I can literally just schedule them straight away using the Chrome extension again and I can just add them to whatever boards I'd like click schedule and they'll be added to the schedule as well. What I always like to do, just so it's mixed up and just so that you're not releasing the same pin over and over again, is once I've gathered all the pins that I want to use for that period of time, so for example, with the free trial, all of the pins that I want to add in the free trial, then I will just head over to Shuffle Queue click the yes shuffle my queue and it will shuffle all of those pins for you so that they're kind of a mixture and you're going to be releasing over the next couple of days just a variety of different pins of your own pins and pins that you found on Pinterest and you can fill this up in any way that you want so if you want to add lots more of your own pins and then just a few other pins that you found on Pinterest you can do that or if you want to predominantly add a lot more different pins from Pinterest and then do a few of your own you can do that it's literally about experimenting having fun and kind of just finding what works for you to drive traffic to your Pinterest account and then also to your shop so it's so easy to kind of just fill up your schedule with using Tailwind and using the Chrome extension. And then obviously also adding your own pins along the way. So adding new fresh pins to Pinterest. And I must say that adding new fresh pins as well and mixing them in with your Tailwind does tend to kind of give your Pinterest a bit of a boost because it's new fresh content that Pinterest really likes. So I would always recommend adding about 10 to 20 per month new pins, at least at the beginning to kind of really give that, that boost to your Pinterest account. But 
like I said, on the free trial, you have 100 slots that you can play around with. You kind of sit back, see how they filter onto your Pinterest account and just kind of have a play and see how you feel about automating your Pinterest. And what will happen is that over the next couple of days, Tailwind will start to filter out the pins that you've scheduled on the platform and just start to slot them onto your different boards. There's so much more you can do with Tailwind that I'm kind of not gonna go into in this video, but I just kind of wanted to give you an idea of how you can really quickly automate your pin schedule with a mixture of unique pins that you've created yourself and uploaded, and also pins that you found on Pinterest and on different places in the internet to kind of bulk up your schedule, have it ready to go, and then you can just leave this and let it run for a month or a week or however long that you want to do it. So I kind of hope this video just gives you a bit of an impression of how you can use Tailwind and Pinterest combined to kind of incorporate your own images and your own kind of traffic driving pins alongside other pins to build a really beautiful Pinterest account that over time will just kind of scale and grow with really such little effort from you once you've got your Tailwind set up and you just consistently pin once a month or when Whenever it is for an hour or so just so you can bulk up your schedule and just let it run and eventually it will start to grow traction and as long as your pins are enticing and the layout of your account is really focused to driving in the right person for your website or your shop then you'll really start to see traffic filter from Pinterest to your shop or your blog with little to minimal effort from you. So I hope this video helps you kind of get to grips a bit with what Tailwind can do for you. Definitely, like I said, if you haven't yet, just give the free trial a go. If this is something that you want to give a try, you want to try and automate your external traffic to your blog or your shop, and you're thinking that Pinterest could be a good fit, then it's definitely worth giving a little go. If it's not right for you, then you can go and find some other way. There, I'm sure there are other ways to do something similar. It's just this is the one that I really love, enjoy and have been using for about a year. So I will hopefully see you in future videos. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you soon and on the blog. So I'll see you soon guys. Bye.